Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Chrissy Sawyer here. Um, welcome new subscribers. Thank you all for your gorgeous comments on that last video. Gosh, the synchronicities are bonkers. I watched the video back myself. And it was just like there was bits kind of slotting into my last four days journal entries. Um, yeah, the synchronicities are mad at the moment. Telepathy as well. Telepathy is getting so strong in the collective. It's beautiful, growing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do a quick one today. Um, and the first card that fell out is the phoenix. And this is... Um, There's an opportunity here to really start to transcend or finish the transcend out of the emotional body, but the kind of emotional body that keeps you on the wheel, going around and around. And so in there, there may be a challenge that there might be uh, something it's time for you to face um, so that you can go to your fire and begin that transmutation because you know we're we're coming into the energies of the spring equinox and the first eclipse of 2024 and it's wanting to bring something up from beneath the surface that is truer more authentic deeper maybe more challenging to others maybe a side of yourself that you've hidden um, and so the fire wants to burn that away and certainly will begin the process. It eclipse energies reveal and cut away. Um, and so do I keep repeating? <laughs> do I even notice that I'm repeating this? Do I even notice that I keep landing in this same point in time? Um, so I guess diligence and vigilance and really tuning in. I mean, it might be lovely just to sit with this energy and dip below the surface and then maybe dip below the surface again and just keep coming in deeper and deeper. Yeah, because this, this 29... 11.2 is talking about the dissolving of the emotion, but it's bringing in this higher mind energy coming in here. Yeah, underlying is air spirit, knowledge. And so, you know, we've been speaking recently to the uh, remembering into ancient knowledge, and this feels very higher mind coming in. And it's like, I've got that egg timer again and that kind of rubbly block in the middle. Is that called the occlusion? Is that where it gathers together? And there's like, oh, I'm, I can see like this arm coming down that wants to reach right through that container of time to pull, to pull something up that's ready to be rebirthed in fire. But there's, this rubble, there's this rubble in the way. And that's giving me like a hot head, hot headedness. So yeah, definitely mind coming in. I get a lot from this. Um, I get the grace of the two in the swan, but I also get serpent energy and kundalini. The sacred oil of kundalini. And look at the grace, 
that this is all happening with. And uh, maybe notice what's happening to your crown chakra. Yeah, it's purifying. Okay. It's, I'm just going to go with the underlying cards here. So. It's <laughs> 1331. So we have the tension of opposites here. Yeah. Breath, go to the breath and breathe, breathe it through. I don't want to use that horrible cliche of just release it, just let it go, because, you know, some people aren't there. And the, um, the answer from those people is, well, what the, are you talking about, Chrissy? How do I let it go? <laughs> Keep finding myself in this. How do I let it go? What is that process? Well, it's the process is through. The process is you've got to go through to gather up the energy and move it, take ownership of it. Yeah, wow, look at all of this. Transmutation, transformation and purification. It's quite high energy. It's actually making our teeth ache just a little bit. Um, it's quite higher in it, higher energy. Yeah, it's going to open a gateway. Thank you. Oh, I can feel that. Mm. Oh, gosh, that feels gorgeous. I think this is the eclipse reading. It does. Thank you. <laughs> I'm having something revealed to me at the moment, which is making me giggle because... I tend to create by accident by not doing very much. And when I left the corporate world in 2014, I pursued, uh, what, what did I pursue? Effortless elegance. That's the world I want to live in, effortless elegance. Um, so I'm not into trying or working hard. I'm not into any of those old linear push, drive, strive programs. And, it, and I notice in me this tension recently, I think I've giggled about it recently, that in this deep state of peaceful rest, <laughs> there's a little part of me going, shouldn't you be doing, shouldn't you go to camera? Hmm? So effortless elegance, and, there's good, and the challenge in that is, you know, if we're coming into this beautiful feminine energy the feminine that knows and that can move the building blocks and in this oh, that's gorgeous that's literally warming up both of my palm chakras and i can feel this it is it's like it's quite by accident quite by accident i've just built a ball of chi and i can feel it quite by accident. And so doing lots and lots of these little accidental things, it's only when you look back that you go, oh my God, I built the thing I always wanted. <laughs> so there's like this undercurrent of how do I build that thing? How do I build it? It's happening. You're already doing it. You're already doing it. Did that make sense? There's like a, you know, and the eclipse will reveal the lie of I'm not doing it, I'm unable to do it. So I think that's, I think I said in the last, yeah, I think I said in the last video, you're already doing it. The wall between the I'm doing it and I want to do it is dissolving. It's dissolving. It's going to help us step into our confidence. Confidence, sacral, gut. This is where the work is going to happen. It's clearly happening because look, it's here. Transformation and purification. Next card is expansion and stillness. There, expansion in the stillness. For those of you that are new to the channel, those of you who know me will know this because I tell this story again and again because it always amuses me. 
for those that don't know me, uh, maybe you won't know that I used to do a lot of work with the military, uh, PTSD. And um, I used to run workshops, uh, retreats, shamanic retreats. And uh, we were, so we kind of, we'd open circle. And I don't know, it's probably 20 guys there and we're doing a check-in. And one of them says, uh, I told my CO that I was trying to do something. And my CO looked at me and said, trying is the square root of fuck all. <laughs> you're either doing or you're not. Trying feels draining. It's such a draining word. It's like it wants to I'm trying. It's, it's, there's no energy. The energy is I'm not doing it. It's decisive. It's confident. Live with that. I'm doing it. I haven't mastered it yet, but I'm doing it. Different energy, very active energy. So I'm trying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, dear. I got my witch on today. Oh, gorgeous. Focus. Okay, right. What have we got? Stillness. Yeah, the reflecting pool. So this is kind of stillness. It's like um, It's like a manifesting stillness. How can I manifest in the stillness? I don't know. I don't know the physics to that, but it's happening. <laughs> What's my word? This feels... I don't know. I don't know. I'm in this I don't know energy. Yesterday... I created another explosion in the kitchen and I made this dish, which was amazing, but my subconscious couldn't map to it so that it knew it was delicious. But it was amazing. <laughs> okay. And that was, and, and all yesterday, I just kept getting wave after wave of like giggliness, glee. Glee was my word. There's this breaking through of glee. And it's the making, it's the creating out of just glee. Just nothing, no purpose. Purposeless creation. Creating from pure energy. Rather than you know, all of the old egoic noise. It's really dissolving, <laughs> which is why when I said, what's my word? I was getting the word discombobulated. I don't know if this reading is going to make any sense at all, but it just feels energized and gleeful and silly and childlike. And I think the revelation of the reading is in this card. It is revealing a deeper you. Soul surfacing. Oh, I love that. Soul surfacing. That's the eclipse message then. Gorgeous. Okay, where am I going? Where am I going? Two decks for today are Sacred Forest, Denise Lynn, and Sacred Earth Oracle by Tony Carmine and Leela Williams. Okay. Surrender. Let's have a surrender card. We haven't done these for ages. I just had a thought. Is this tapping in? There's definitely eclipse energies here in the revelation, but is this tapping into the Jupiter Uranus conjunction? Bear with me. Yeah. 
lots of voices. Here we go again. We had 12th house, didn't we, in the last reading? Escape. Escape or escapology? Mm. Escape or avoidance? <sighs> Coming in that 50 energy, which is... I want to say it's change on a galactic level. Yeah. That Capricorn energy, this Capricorn energy coming through today wants to wants to headbutt a wall. It feels frustrating. But I want to I want to say to the, to that very capable goat who can absolutely knock the wall down, let it come. Just relax and let it come. Ten wants to birth. It's beautiful. 50 and a 10, that's 60, that's the heart, it's the cosmic heart. So it's beautiful. So really coming into alignment with, I wonder what galactic points are being touched at the moment. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Surrender. And then we'll wrap it up. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what's coming in with that. It's kind of some of that old Capricorn energy is still in the make energy make make it happen make it Let's push surrender stress you know if we just strip this back to energy make energy see my fist automatically came in there disrupts the whole energetic field when there's all of this beautiful feminine soft energy trying to come in stillness Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Really simple and very, very effective process. Let the stress go. Let, let it go. Be really, really tuned into your body. I know you lot work on a body level anyway, so preaching to the converted here. Let the stress go as you come back to centre. Well, yeah. 50 promises, big change, big change. I've got the, is it the serenity prayer? To have the grace to know the difference, change the things I can, live with the things I can't, and have the grace to know the difference or words similar to that. Because I just saw, when I read Surrender Worry, I, I just saw a hand just writing down, what specifically is my worry? Because half the movement is to know. Worry can blossom like a whole cauliflower head. <laughs> but it started off as a teeny tiny little floret. Um, and when we can grab that, oh, right, okay. Then we can make a decision. Can I change this? 
If so, what? Can I not change this? If so, how do I accept it? I think I said about, I don't know, several videos ago, these these times that are birthing are about loving what we have rather than chasing what we want. That's how we reconcile in a conflict, loving what we have, even if we think we don't want it. Make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe. Again, two messages to go to the breath. Breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you. Your spirit is guiding you. Your inner voice is guiding you. Okay. So I think this is the I think this is the message for this reading. Soul is surfacing. And that's going to feel some kind of way. Another layer is revealed of you. Might surprise you, might surprise those around you. Might mean you have new choices to make. The eclipse is happening. Where is the eclipse happening? Libra Western. Virgo Eastern. Sixth and seventh house that's around routine and relationships. Could be some relationship changes. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, yeah. Final message, please. Oh, Alice A. Bailey just came in. She's giving me the dark side of the moon, if that means anything to anybody. Final message, please. <laughs> I just got the sun coming in bring me a higher love so both of these cards speak to relationships so it's like relationships are getting uplifted spiritual partnership this could speak to new collaborations with spiritual dudes and dudesses uh, self families coming together um Hmm, feeling more at home in your vibe and in your crowd. Yeah, creating an authentic heartbeat resonance, creating an authentic resonance. Teaching and learning. <laughs> All teachers are students and student, students are teachers. And when we move between those two energies, we never own. Nothing gets occulted. <laughs> Governing the flow of information, 57. Governing the flow of information, 12, 3. Yeah, that's the beautiful harmony of experience and information and wisdom and learning is to give it away. Spiritual partnership could also speak to this 60 energy coming in, working with um, the unseen in new ways, commitment, I get in committed ways. Okay, that's it. Playtime's over. <laughs>
It's not. <laughs> it's never over. As long as you can smile and dance and sing, playtime is never over. Okay. <sighs> Beautiful peeps. I'm going to love you and leave you. I may be back and I may not. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Um, do the clicky things. Drop me a comment. Lots of love. I'll see you soon. Bye.